Hello, you're watching Kel67 Gaming, and last month uh, when the Xbox games with gold were released, there was one game in there that I was really pleased to see, a game that I played on other systems, and uh, has made a previous favourite five list, and I thought it might be one of my favourite five games in that particular genre, which got me thinking. Will this particular game make my favourite five platformers? The platform genre obviously is uh, one of the main staples of uh, of gaming, going right back to the early 80s, both on arcades and in the home and consoles and on microcomputers. Uh, it's it was the f probably the first major um, explosion in a new genre that we we saw in the video gaming world. Um, just massively popular, especially when you got um, the big hitters from Nintendo and Sega uh, came on the scenes. And I thought that this was a great time to have a look back at my favourite uh, platformers. Uh, so this is not a definitive list of the greatest platformers of all time. This is just the ones that I've had the most fun with. And we should really start with my fifth favourite platform game. That was Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega. That was the original game. Uh, I've got some very great fond memories of this playing this game way back, uh, sort of 1990, I think it was, this one came out uh, on the original Mega Drive. Uh, obviously, we play this to death after school. Uh, everyone would just choose someone's house to go to. Uh, being in the UK, we're all Sega kids. So we just piled around one, one person's house and everyone took turns uh, playing through Sonic to see how far it could get. Um, I don't actually remember at the time anyone completing the game, um, but I'm sure we must have done. We put enough hours in it to become masters. Uh, just a great game that... Um, it's, it brought something new to the table. The sp or the, the sense of speed in Sonic was something that we hadn't seen from any of the platformers that had come before. It wasn't methodical. Uh, it was quite... It was Twitch gaming in the way that uh, probably first-person shooters are today, where uh, you know, millions of people play these you know, instant response and muscle memory games. That's kind of how Sonic was. Uh, not too much in the way of puzzle solving elements that you may have seen in other uh, platform games, but just a wonderful uh, experience. Uh, and I was, I feel so lucky to have been at the right age at the time that, that Sonic hit. So if that was my fifth favourite, then this must be my fourth favourite platform game.
So in fourth place we have the game that dropped this month on Games with Gold on the Xbox that inspired me to do this left list, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Uh, this is obviously a modern a reimagining of uh, the classic platforms of yesteryear. It's got the this you know the sort of sixteen bit sprite based graphics, although it is done in high definition. Uh, it's a game that originally got when it came out way back when on the Wii U, which uh, loved the game to death. It's and it was one of my favourite games for that system. Uh, I haven't actually played through it yet uh, on the Xbox with it going free on games with gold, but I'm sure that that's uh, in the near future somewhere. It's an absolutely wonderful game, very charming, uh, very Metroidvania-esque where you go backwards and forwards. It's not a strictly linear platformer as many uh, of this style are. Uh, if you haven't played this game already now's the perfect time to pick it up if you have xbox uh live gold uh just download the game it's free and play it it's just a great experience and a very charming story as well uh also love the the cartoon style of it i think anyone who plays it'll have a ball so here we are at the halfway point in this list this is going to be my third Favourite platform game. A game from the Nintendo Entertainment System. I am a bit of a shocker, I suppose. Uh, Sega Kid ranks Mario above Sonic. But not just any Mario, this was Super Mario 3. Now, I did have an NES at the time, and I played this game and was just absolutely blown away with the, the, the scale and the scope of the game. Uh, it's just... It, it seemed so much bigger than than games that had gone before with all the distinct overworlds uh, all the levels within the the, the castle battles uh, just everything worked for me um getting the the small victories even down to the 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 variance in in the level design those some of your your standard mario levels where you you just charged through for, from left to right got to the end but there was also the you know those Mario levels where, where you, uh, where the screen moves along at, at a certain pace. Uh, you can't go quicker than it. You can't go slower than it. It just doesn't work. Love that. Also, you've got the uh, the the swimming levels is a, a staple of Mario. You, you just this game had it all. And playing this at the time, uh, this was such a different experience to Sonic, which obviously I loved as well. Um, and even though it was on inferior hardware, just seemed like a much bigger, grander game. And I absolutely loved it for that. And very quickly now, we have reached the, the top two in my list. Um, so we have to start 
with my second favourite platform game. This is the first platform game that I ever remember playing. Uh, this is Manic Miner, which I played for the old rubber key 48k ZX Spectrum. A massively unforgiving game. Um, there are some pixel perfect jumps that you need to produce in this game. Uh, you've also got, you're against the clock, although it's not massively uh, prohibitive the time that you've got, but you can get caught in, in these single screen levels because there are platforms that you need to complete the the collectathon and open the exit. Uh, and these disappearing platforms, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, so you can find yourself in a position where it's impossible to complete the level and you just have to watch the air disappear until such times as you can start again on your next life. Um, another game that I don't remember ever completing back when it first came out, uh, it was again something very new, it was something we we hadn't seen before, the pixel perfect jumps and the the, the strategy and the you know finding the route around it so it's almost a puzzle game as well as being a platformer um, did get a sequel Jet Set Willy um, which in my opinion wasn't as good a game as this original offering Manic Mine I just thought it was a wonderful game and certainly um, the imagery on the the box uh, is just it takes you right back to the 80s and uh it's a game of its time. So that was my second favourite. So here we are, right at the end of the list. And uh, I think um, people will obviously see a pattern uh, here in the kind of platformers that I like. Um, they all tend to be older or retro, 2D, um, with lovely colourful graphics. So here is my favourite platform game of all time. We're gonna have to relocate that drop. I'll get onto Krieg. See if you can lose him.
Now, given what had been on my list up to this point, I can imagine that this would be a, bit, a little bit of a shock for anyone watching. But my favourite platform game of all time is the original Mirror's Edge. Not Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which actually I didn't get into as much. But this game, uh, Mirror's Edge, just absolutely got me. And I don't know why. It's First of all, it's a first-person game. Now, I don't play first-person shooters. I don't like them. There's something about it that I don't get. When I play racing games, I don't play on the front bumper on, in first person. I play chase cam. I, I'm very much, I think, a gamer of my time. Um, and my time was seeing a character on the screen. And there's something uh, that's very familiar about that to me. And something that the, the, that style of game makes sense to me. And this isn't one of them. Uh, but what it does have, it has some of the best platforming. Uh, that I've seen in the game and not, not only is it platforming in 2D it's platforming in 3D which obviously uh, gives you these playgrounds that you're given as levels where there's multiple ways through it's not as linear um, you've also got elements of uh, combat uh, you've got uh, elements of puzzle solving in this game uh, and it also leans heavily on uh, on being a, a racing game you're trying to get through these levels as quickly as possible uh, and that's where the joy of finding new routes through the level comes from uh, there is also of course a time attack mode which I just uh, back in the day when this first came out it was myself and one of my friends we really got into, uh, into this game and we would trade best times on different levels over uh, PSN I played it on first on PlayStation 3 um, and uh, this went on for probably a year where we would just you know, shave tenths of a second off uh, off each other's times and it just it became a, not just massively enjoyable when you find you know these the, the, these extra uh, tenths or whatever it may be and they, or maybe maybe even more than that maybe you find a new way through the level which cuts a, a huge chunk of time off um, it was just oh, I can't say enough good things about this. But you didn't have to play it purely as a racer, obviously. Uh, if you were playing the campaign mode, there was uh, the, the find the briefcases and that sort of thing, which um, necessitated you slowing down and you know finding parts of the map that uh, if you were just screaming through it at full speed, you just wouldn't find. Um, so that's that's why it's my, my favourite platform game of all time. Now I'm sure that not everybody, probably nobody, uh, agrees with my list. So by all means, tell me in the comments below uh, what I should have had in there. There might be games that I haven't played that I should play. Um, always you know, happy to, to, to find new games uh, that I may have missed. Um, so please tell me if there's any, any that I should have put on my list. But that is my list. And until next time, um, I just hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up uh, underneath the video here. If you disliked it, drop a dislike on it. You know, you know we're big boys here. We can uh, we can take criticism. Um, if you have enjoyed the content and you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel because obviously we want to grow and that's the only way we're going to do it. Um, if you know anyone who might, might appreciate this video, please feel free to share it. I would appreciate that greatly. And until next time, two things that you can do for me. Stay safe and keep gaming.